Email communication has changed the world. There is hardly any subject in enterprises today that is not communicated over email. Whether it is corporate strategy or office gossip, email is the easiest, most scalable, and most common way to communicate. However, it is also the most insecure. Emails have a nasty reputation of finding their way to the wrong inboxes. Your most confidential information can end up with your competitors or the press. Hello and welcome to a quick demonstration of Seclor email protection. John works at Acme Corporation. He needs to send a highly confidential cost estimate to his colleague Mike and to an external consultant named Sarah. Now this document is highly sensitive. John is concerned about its security and wants to ensure that Mike and Sarah cannot share it with anyone, accidentally or intentionally. So when John is done typing the email and attaching the document, he simply clicks on the Seclorit button in the Outlook ribbon and then clicks Send. The email is sent with the default Read and Change permissions. This means that Mike and Sarah can read and edit the document, but cannot print it. Since Mike is an employee of Acme Corporation, his email ID is automatically recognized by the system. However, Sarah is an external user and her email ID is not yet registered in FileSecure. John gets a pop-up window stating that Sarah is not registered and asking whether he'd like to register her in FileSecure. John clicks on Register and Send, which triggers an automatic workflow which creates Sarah's account. Next, we'll look at the experience of Mike and Sarah on receiving a protected email. Mike has just received a protected email sent by John, his colleague. He downloads the attachment on his desk and opens it. His login is automatically detected and FileSecure recognizes him as a valid user of the file. A window is displayed showing the permissions he has on the file. He clicks OK and the file opens as usual in Microsoft Word. He can edit the document and save it. However, when he attempts to print it, a message is displayed stating that he does not have print permissions. Now let's look at Sarah's experience. Sarah is an external user who works with Acme. She is often sent highly confidential data. She uses her own computer and personal email address. Acme has no control over either of these assets. As soon as Sarah was registered, she received a notification email from Seclor with a link to set her password. She sets her password and her account is automatically enabled. Her username is her email address itself. Sarah then opens John's cost estimate email and downloads the attachment to her desktop. When she opens it, a message is displayed inside the file asking her to click on a link. She logs in using her email address and the password she had set earlier. On the next page, she is given multiple options to view the file. She can drag and drop the file on this page and the file will open in the browser. She may also download and install the File Secure Lite software. It installs with a few clicks without any administrative privileges. She then double clicks on the file as usual and the file opens in File Secure Lite with a watermark. In this way, John has easily ensured that information is used without being misused. John has complete control over his confidential cost estimates even after sharing it with an external partner.